All right, guys, so it's October 7th. Well, it's on Wednesday. I'm hunting in upstate South Carolina. I got a late start this morning due to having to work third shift last night. So when I got off work, I came on over here, this spot that I found Saturday. I come here just scouting around, looking a little bit. Found some really nice bucks on it. It's the first chance I've had to come back over here. So I got, I got here about 8.45 this morning. I come slipping up this road real quiet and real easy, just, just walking real slow. Just looking as I went. I got up to the edge of the power line. I looked, and I saw one right across the power line. He raised his head up, and I realized it was a really nice buck. A really nice one. So I went ahead, and I took a shot at him. I'm not feeling real great about the shot. I feel like I may have hit him a little far back, my, maybe guts. I walked over there and looked where he was standing. I, I did not find any blood. If I, if I did hit him, I feel like it's probably gut shot. So what I did, I went ahead and, come, went ahead, went ahead and climbed up in the tree. Figured I'd give him a little bit of time before I go look. It's been about an hour and a half now. It was a little bit after nine when I shot. I'm hunting this really pretty power line. These deer are crossing through here really good. I honestly don't believe that that's the buck. It's leaving all this buck sign in here. But like I said, he was he was a very nice buck. I wasn't about to pass him up. So hopefully when I get down, maybe I can find him. It's a good chance maybe I can find him. I, I do feel like I hit him. I just want to give him a little bit of time before I go look. So this is what the power line looks like that I'm sitting on. I've got this little white oak right beside this pine tree I'm sitting in. It's a really beautiful place to hunt. A lot of deer here. Right there is where I think big boys hanging out. I think he was going to come out right there. There's a really nice scrape. He's breaking limbs above the scrape, head high. He's coming out. I think he's coming up out of that hole right there. The scrape's right up under that limb right there. And he's working that side really good. Really good. There's several trails over there coming out of those woods. What it is, it's hardwoods mixed with pines. And I can hear acorns falling over there really good. So there's a good chance I can see another deer here while I wait. But, but you never know. Deer do have a mind of their own. I really hope I find this buck. He's he's outside the ears. He, 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 I believe he's got about 15, 16 inch spread on him. Probably a good 8, 10 inch tall rack. He's, he's a pretty decent buck. I'll, I'll keep you guys in touch for what happens. Just bear with me. Hopefully, hopefully we find him. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so it's been three hours now. Right now it's 12 o'clock. I feel like it's been enough time. That if I did hit the, hit the buck, he, sh he should be down. Or dead. So I'm going to go ahead and climb on down now and go check it out, see if I can find him. I'll let you know as soon as I know anything. Well, guys, it appears as I missed him, which honestly, I, I'm glad I did miss him instead of making a bad shot. That's definitely a better situation to be in. I really don't like to wound a deer and not be able to find him, so I would definitely rather miss him flat out then make a bad shot and him run off and die somewhere and not find him which that does happen from time to time but the good news is in the morning i'm bringing my buddy back the guy i work with he, he's never killed a deer and i did find some really good sign where that buck was standing there's plenty of muscadines there's thousands of muscadines on the ground his deer are wearing them out and i feel very confident that in the morning we will film him shooting his first deer very confident. So, you guys stay tuned. And I'm sorry I don't have a buck for you.
But, hey, that's deer hunting. Sometimes it happens. Y'all have a good evening.